guys, it's your boy Alex again, back at it again with a Tale Tuesday! What's up guys, so today's topic is going to be a big topic, so that's why I decided to postpone yesterday's video, and I'm sorry for that guys, I was supposed to drop a Monday Motivation, and I wasn't able to, I was busy from beginning to end, and I, the topic was so big that I just wanted to really, just really be clear and detailed and specific with everything that I was talking about, so today's topic is... What's your why, man? What's your why? It's so big. You don't understand that the why drives you through everything, through your pain, through your obstacles, through whatever you face. That why is going to push you that extra little mile, that extra little bit that you need to get to that level of success that you want to get to, to pass whatever you want to pass, to do whatever it is that you want to do, to meet your goals, man. You have to find your why. Your why. And today I have a special edition. I'm going to get a little off topic, and I'm going to do my special edition. So today's special edition, I have something, guys, to tell you, man, to tell you. So uh, my first year in college was 2014 at the you know, University of Texas, UTPA. Uh, it's now it's called UTRGV now. So in my first semester in school, I had five classes, right? So in my five classes, I dropped two of them because I wasn't doing so good, and uh, I finished with three, and I had two Cs and uh, one B. So, um, my GPA was a 2.2, I think, after that year. Um, what else? After the 2.2, I was placed on academic probation. So, uh, for y'all who don't know who, what academic probation is, basically, if you're not doing good, you're going to get on this warning thing. And if you don't get to that certain grade level you're supposed to get to, then they stop giving you financial aid or whatever. So, when I was placed on academic probation, man, I was just put on, like, I was just so upset with myself because I knew I had greater potential inside of me. I knew that I was better than whatever grades I was doing. I was just giving up. And you know what? Let me tell you something. I didn't have a why to push me to do good in school. I didn't have a why in the first semester of school because I was just messing around thinking that, oh, I'm in college now, so that means I did it. No, you need to go more and beyond than that. You need to improve. And I didn't have a why. I didn't have a driving force to push me. I didn't have a driving force to push me. I had to hit rock bottom, rock bottom, to realize that I had better potential in me to do better in school. So, let's say for example, so what happened was, so the next year I, I got two A's, a B, and a D. So I was like, all right, that's better, that's better, that's better. So then, the next year after that, next semester, I got uh, three A's and a B. So I was like, all right, I did better now. I did better. And my GPA, I still never, was never able to get on the dean's list. My GPA was, uh, I think, a 2.9 or whatever. And all this and that. So this year, guys, this year, and oh, my God, I made my dreams to call a reality. I busted my ass for it. I busted my ass to get to this place where I want to be right now. I busted my ass to get here, man. From a student who was dropped two courses uh, place on academic probation to the, what I want to announce right now. I am now on the dean's list for the University of Houston. I put my ass on the line for that shit. I grinded it every day and every night just to get to that where I want to be right now. Dean's list. My dream. I placed that dream. I did it last year. I placed that dream last year in my head. And I said, when I come to Houston... When I come to the University of Houston, I'm going to grind and I'm going to put myself and I'm going to push myself to get that 3.5 or higher. And now I'm doing it, guys. It's a mentality you got to have. But now let's get back to the topic that I was talking about. Now, what, we, what do you think was the driving force behind that getting to that Dean's List? What do you think it was? It was my why. I had a why, and it was stronger than anything else. A why is what pushes you, like I've said before. It's so strong, super strong. It's all mentality, boys. It's all mentality, girls. It's in your mind to push yourself. It's a mentality to be good. And to after you're good, you're great. And after you're great, you're phenomenal. Stop being average, man. So, what we're going to talk about now, what's my why, if you may ask? My mom wakes up every single damn day, Monday through Friday, and even Saturday sometimes, at 6 a.m. to get up and provide for me and for the dumb little dogs that she has and 
to provide for my family. She wakes up every single day. The least I can do to treat my mom like the woman she deserves to be treated, the least I can do to, do to give back to my mother is the world. The, what I want to give her back is the world. So the least I can do is get up every day and grind and work on my body because my body is my temple because I want to be in this fitness thing. I want to be in this fitness industry and I want to do D1. I want to play D1 and the only way I'm going to get there is by busting my ass every single day. So the least I can do is do it for my mother because that's my why. Every time that I want to give up, every time that I want to quit, every time I don't want to wake up, every time I don't want to go to the gym, I get my ass up because my mom. I have to do this for my mom. I want my mom to live the life to the fullest potential. I want her to do whatever she wants to do. I want to be able to provide for her. I ain't chasing money. And most of y'all are chasing money. Oh, I want to I wanna be a millionaire. I want to be a billionaire. Yeah, that's great and all. But that money is temporary happiness. It ain't going to be there forever. It's not going to be a happiness that's going to fulfill you. Just like, I talk, that's like I'm reading the book of now. People are chasing this and that and this and that. And they think that this car and this success and this and that is going to get them to be fulfilled inside. But no, it ain't. So that's why you got to have a good why, a real why, your family, your blood, everything. You got to have a good why to push you. Because if you, if you use money as a, as, a, as a why, when it gets tough and hard, you're going to give up real easily. You're, it's not going to push you. It's not going to pull you so much to do what you want to do. But when you have that why, that why like your mom, your dad, whoever it is that you love because you're not going to do them dirty. The people you love, you're going to do it for them. So you need to learn to have that why to push you. When you're at the bottom and you're rock bottom, the only way you can go is up. So push yourself. Use that why to give me that extra bit of energy to say, I can get through this. I can, I will, and I must get through this because my family is counting on me. Not, it's not about you no more. Your success is not about you. It's about your family who's there, who invested in you, who put their time into you, and you got to give back to them because I'm tired of seeing my mom not do what she really wants to do in life. I'm tired of seeing my family struggle. I'm tired of seeing the people around me not have what they have. I'm tired of not giving my mom what she deserves. I'm tired of not getting her that Acura. I'm tired of not getting her that Audi. I'm tired of not giving that what she wants because I'm over here and living like, you know, I was living average. And I told myself I have to be good and great and phenomenal. And I used my why. My mom, my mom to push me. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm pushing myself. Every little goal I've had, I'm getting there little by little. I'm still humble. I'm still, you know, you know, trying to motivate everybody else. I ain't successful yet. I'm not finished just because I got a dean's list. You think just because I got a dean's list notification or I got a dean's list award, you think that's going to be like, all right, I made it. I'm successful. No, that ain't shit. You got to push yourself even beyond. You got to use that why to push yourself. Once you get this goal, you go more and more because it's all about the little things and every little thing is going to turn into a big thing. So guys, push yourself. Use that why. If you're in depression right now, if you're, you know, you know, you don't understand why this is happening to you, you don't know why this is doing that, if you want to do this and, and you just want to give up and you don't want to do it anymore, find a why that's going to push you past that obstacle, whatever it is in life because that why is gonna push you, man? Coming from me, dude. Coming from me, a student who didn't care, a student who didn't give a damn, a guy who wanted to give up easily so much all the time, all the time. But I told myself one day, I told myself, my mom is not gonna have the world if I give up. And I need to give her that world. I need to give back to those who invested in me. And that's your why. So please, I beg you. Use your why because I want to see everybody blow. I want to see everybody be successful. And you have to use your why. That's it. It's just the mentality to get to that level. It's not about, oh, I need to be the best um, skilled person. I need to be have the most talent. Most of the time and most of the time, success comes from people with the mentality and their why that pushes them beyond because they're so hungry for success. It's a mental thing. It ain't no physicality thing. It ain't no physical thing, it's a why. So please guys, push yourself to that why. Push yourself to 
to to make your goals become true because of that why. Why are you doing it? Ask yourself, why are you doing it? Why are you in school? Why are you doing this and that? Why do you want to chase your dreams? Why do you want to become, you know, this big person? Why do, why do you want to motivate people? Please find your why, guys. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Today's like a Turtle Tuesday thing. It's a lot different compared to what I've been doing. Most Turtle Tuesdays are going to be fitness stuff. I would say, like I told one of my friends, next, tu next Tuesday, Turtle Tuesday will be, I would say next Tuesday, and it's going to be a fitness thing. It's going to be a cardio workout, so I want to probably do a weight workout till like Thursday or so. I'm really close to getting those cameras. I just got to, you know, find a way to get them, and yeah, guys, well, thanks you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching my video. You know, I know I have very little subscribers, but you know what? I'm pushing myself because I have a why. And I really want to be a big motivational speaker, so this is my platform. And I know I started, I'm starting off from scratch, but hey, everybody did that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you really like this video. And make sure to follow me on my Snapchat at my last name, Controla, underscore 24, for more updates on when you, my videos will drop. Thank you guys.